So, uh, good evening, Prime Minister and uh, members of the IATEL community and the ECTEL Conference 2012. It's really a great pleasure to be welcomed here in the State Chancellery. Um, you know, as you know, this is a conference that's fairly young, and uh, this is our seventh conference. It's the first time that we've received such strong political recognition, so we're very, very grateful uh, to your presence and your invitation. Um, I also wanted to say that um, over the maybe past 20 years, when I, as working in EU projects, I've come to know and admire German engineering. It's not a secret, German organization. And now here in the Saarland, I'm really impressed with German hospitality. Um, I think all of us have been very touched with all of the attention that we've received in so many ways from the local organization team. So thank you, Celtech, for perfect timing, perfect greetings, everything. <laughs> Um, in the past two days, and another reason why I want to thank the Prime Minister is the, the past two days I've been sitting in the doctoral consortium listening to what we call the next generation of researchers in technology enhanced learning and so many marvelous ideas for how they can improve and inspire learners, European citizens at school, at the workplace, learners with special needs. <clears throat> but I know that the kind of research they're doing needs funding. And um, we need funding, and funding gets approved for at the European level, at the national level, and even at the local level. And we know that funding gets approved by the politicians. So once again, we're really pleased to know that, in, at least in the Tsarland, you're very much interested in the kinds of questions that we're looking at in our uh, research community. Just to give you a little bit of background, um, the EATEL Association was created in 2007. It was the fruit of um, a European-funded project, Network of Excellence. The Networks of Excellence brought together the, the, the best and the brightest of researchers working in technology-enhanced learning, in our case. And um, our role was to foster a community of practice in our, in our professional domain. And we do this through a certain number of activities, which include joint research and, and joint, uh, joint training of, of uh, doctoral students. So um, we, we created the association uh, seven years ago. And I'm very proud to say that the main activities that we launched at that time, which were this scientific conference, which, um, as you have pointed out, brings together people from all different kinds of backgrounds. In other words, we have engineers, we have education uh, specialists, and we have industrialists, and we also have um, people who are coming from the teaching background, all uh, here exchanging in, in this field. It's a multidisciplinary conference. Um, we also are very proud to think that it's a very competitive conference, apparently 20% acceptance rate on the papers. And of course, we're looking at um, what are the latest developments in technology, how we, how we can bring it to, to learners. <coughs> Another very important activity that we launched um, were the doctoral uh, academy activities. We have two. Um, we have a joint European summer school for technology enhanced learning, which we launched in 2005 and have been able to sustain uh, until this year. And we're announcing already our uh, activity for 2013. Uh, we also feature a doctoral consortium as a regular feature of the ECTEL conference. And um, another thing that's really nice to see is that uh, um, as projects end, and I have to point out also that EU-funded projects, I think it's only 10% that actually get funding. So this is really competitive research. And many of the projects who are finishing up their work are coming to our association to say, you know, we would like to bring um, the results of our work to your association so that you can share it with the, great, the greater technology-enhanced learning community. Um, so we think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a success. As I said, we started with the special interest groups with the with with the uh, scientific conference, with the doctoral academy activities. We have a special interest group for road mapping, another one for professional learning, uh, as you pointed out, as being very important. I know Volker Zimmerman is very important, is very uh, prominent in that activity. Um, and we have three new associations. Um, one's a special interest group that's looking at uh, data, uh, analyzing data sets. Another one that's looking at 
um, how do we say, um, uh, assessment, and another one that's looking at e-assessment, and another one that's um, looking at open educational resources for the business sector. So once again, uh, we're looking at uh, content for the business sector. So um, we're, we're pr very proud to say that our community is growing. It is very much an international community. It's true that most of the participants in our events are coming from uh, universities in uh, Europe. However, as you may know, mo most of our universities have students coming from all over the world. So to a certain extent, it is, pretty, it, it is very much a, a, an international community. And one of our uh, keynote speakers that we just heard this evening is coming from the United States after having been to Australia. So we, we're pretty confident that this is, in fact, an international community. So thank you once again for inviting us uh, to hold our conference in the SAR land. Um, you know, there is this notion that the beachy places sometimes get more attention, but I'm very pleased to say that this was a great choice and um, I hope we'll be coming back to Germany sometime in the future.